Hey guys, it's Will Patterson here again with another Illustrator CC tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you a very easy tutorial and it's more about a, a tool that is uh, not very well used within Illustrator. It's called the Align tool and this is basically something that a lot of people miss within Illustrator and a lot of people don't understand fully. So I'm going to show you the differences between the Photoshop Align tool and the Illustrator Align tool. And you can see mine is down at the bottom here. So first off, if you don't have it, make sure you open up a new document, make your canvas size, whatever you want, and then go up to Window and then go to Align. Or you can press Shift and F7 to bring up this little dialog box here. Now you can see if I zoom in here, you'll see that there's loads of different sort of uh, weird shapes going on here. Now I'm not going to take you through each and every single one, but I'm going to show you how to perfectly align an object or your subject into the center of the artboard and into the center of uh, another shape. So say I wanted to bring out a circle. So I'm going to bring out a circle. Uh, and I, I may have it over here. I'm just going to go ahead and change uh, the colors. So I have a black circle here and I could bring this out over here and say I wanted it to be exactly in the middle. Well, I could eyeball it or I could go into my smart guides and find it, which it's there. But to make it easier, I have this thing called the align pack, the align objects. And the best thing to do is if you highlight it, you even get it up at the top here whenever you highlight a shape. And the best thing to do would be to use this because it's very quick and easy. So the first thing I would do is I highlight it and I would say I want it on in the center of my artboard. So I'm going to go ahead into align objects and pick this one here. Now this one here brings it or aligns it to the sort of vertical axis and this aligns it to the horizontal axis. So whenever you click that it aligns it to the canvas. But let's say that I didn't want to align it to the canvas. Let's say I wanted to align it uh, with another shape. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this into a stroke. And I'm going to bump up this stroke like so. And I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And again, I'm just going to make sure it's in the center. And then say I wanted it to be uh, aligned within something else. So I'm going to create another circle in here. And there it is. There's another circle. I want this circle to be exactly in the center of this circle. Now again, you could eyeball it and then bring this into the center into your smart guys things here. And that could be it. But if not, you could basically highlight both of these. Now the difference is if I highlighted both of these, I went for this, it would go into the center. But if this was over here, they'd both go into the center. But I wanted to just bring this small circle into the center of this object. And the best way to do this is to highlight both of them and then click on the thing you want to align it with. Again, which will give this a nice um, thicker stroke around it. And this means that you're aligning it to something. Now, as you can see, if I did this, I've got this little box up here. And you can either align it to a key object, to a selection or to the artboard. It's automatically set to the artboard to make it easier for you and it's automatically uh, selected when you click another object to make it easier for you. So it's very quick. So now I've got to actually align to a key object because when I highlight two objects and then press it on the first one again or one of them again highlights it and then it means it's a key object. Now I'm going to highlight that, just do that and I'm going to go into my align objects and align that in there. You can do this in so many different ways. I'm going to go ahead and bring out a box like this. Then I'm going to go text and bring out some text. So just size this text up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and make the text uh, uppercase. I'm going to go to this like so. And I'm going to convert it to a shape. Okay, so say I wanted this text to be exactly in the center of this square here but I don't want the square in the middle because if I just highlighted it and then went like this it would bring them all into the center which is not what I want to do I want to make sure that these objects are still up here so again I'm going to highlight both of these objects and then I'm going to align it to this square and I'm going to go ahead and bring vertical and horizontal and that's how you align things within it 
And that's how you get the perfect alignment with an illustrator. I hope this tutorial helps. I know it's a very easy one, but I figured that a lot of people might not understand it because within Photoshop, you actually have to make a selection uh, with it. And that takes a bit of doing sometimes to understand it with an illustrator. Also, I'm going to be bringing out uh, more Photoshop tutorials very soon. Uh, I've got a list of things I want to do. I'm not going to take a break from Illustrator. I'm just going to do more Photoshop tutorials in the coming weeks. So look out for two videos every week, which is going to be like one Illustrator and one Photoshop, which is going to be really cool. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Make sure you check down below for the next live stream day. I'm going to be live streaming, and hopefully I'll have a guest with me. Um, we might play some games or I might just talk about uh, design work. If you've got any questions, please ask them in the comments below. Check if they've already been answered and all that jazz. See you later. I'll see you later. I said that twice, but I'll see you later.